Hello, welcome back to Creepy Places New England. We're in Bristol, Rhode Island, near the bay. Uh, we're going to a place called DeWolf Family Cemetery. Uh, we're not sure if it's haunted, but it has a really, really kind of a creepy little spot of the uh, tomb of James DeWolf. The family has connections to the slave trade that, it, that occurred in both Rhode Island and particularly in Bristol, Newport, and Providence. So I hope you enjoy this next Creepy Places episode. Shove it, bird! The DeWolf Family Cemetery is a small cemetery plot located off of Woodland Avenue in Bristol, Rhode Island. One of the most prominent figures buried in the cemetery is James DeWolf who was born in Bristol on March 18, 1764. Known as Captain Jim, James DeWolf began his successful career at the age of 15 as a privateer during the Revolutionary War. He became very wealthy over the years, mainly due to his work in the slave trade. In Rhode Island, the use of slaves was not as common as it was in the South but cities like Newport and Bristol grew very wealthy because of the slave trade. He and his family owned sugar plantations in Cuba, in which the molasses from these plantations were shipped to Bristol, where it was turned into rum. The rum was then taken to Africa, where it was traded for slaves. Then these slaves were sold in Cuba and other southern ports. This led DeWolf to become the wealthiest man in the state, in 1790, he married Nancy Ann Bradford, the daughter of William Bradford, who would take the office of U.S. Senator on March 4, 1793. In that same year, Mr. DeWolf was charged with the murder of a female slave who suffered from smallpox. He was accused of tying and gagging the woman to a chair, then throwing her overboard. However, Due to his family influence and protection, and despite further stories of him mistreating slaves, James DeWolf was never arrested or fully charged with a crime. Slavery was gradually eliminated in Rhode Island in 1784, and the Slave Trade Act of 1794 outlawed Americans from carrying slaves between foreign countries or into states where slavery was outlawed. However, James DeWolf simply smuggled slaves into Rhode Island ports and bypassed custom officials by appointing one of his own men as custom inspector for Bristol. During the War of 1812, DeWolf was again a privateer under the authority of the President. During that time, he captured 41 prizes that was worth over $3 million. He also entered politics and was a member of the Rhode Island House of Representatives starting in 1797. He was appointed Speaker of the House in the Rhode Island General Assembly in 1820, then appointed to the U.S. Senate in 1821 to replace William Hunter of Newport. His experience in Washington was not a pleasant one. Rhode Island instructed DeWolf to refuse Missouri entry in the Union as a slave state, but Senator William Smith of South Carolina pointed out that Rhode Island was guilty of hypocrisy because James DeWolf got wealthy from the slave trade. When DeWolf said that his slave trading days were in the past and that most of his wealth was from honorable employment, his enemies laughed at him, saying that his honorable employment was from privateering, which was just one step above being a pirate. He resigned as senator in 1825. On December 21st, 1837, he died in New York City, being the second richest man in the U.S. Two weeks later, his wife died. Much of the fortune the family had went on to support public schools in Rhode Island. In 1842, a man named John Dickerson blew open the iron door to his tomb, believing the man was buried with a lot of gold. After ransacking the casket, the robber made off with the wolf's gold teeth some buttons and a nameplate and sold it for $6.58, which is about $154 in today's standards. Today the tomb is overgrown, with some believing it is cursed because of James the Wolf's involvement with the slave trade, with evidence of that coming from the dead tree on top of it. Now here is the DeWolf Family Cemetery.
Welcome back to creepy places. We're going old school, right, Steve? We're going to an old school? No, we're just meaning that we haven't done this more traditional type of uh, our little adventures in a while. So we're actually heading up to Bristol. We're on 95 North. We're going to be going to 195 uh, because we don't want to go over the bridges. And we're going to the, a place called DeWolf Family Cemetery. I was waiting for a sarcastic remark from you. It's kind of disappointing. It kind of took you a few seconds. Well, we are in Bristol, and it's springtime. Everything's beginning to bloom. And I do believe we are almost there. I've been recognizing some of the landmarks around here. I've been to this spot once, and, you know, I, I, have, to be to, I have to go to a place several times before I remember everything. Oh, look, we're stuck at a red light. See? Now it's green. I'm all excited. We are here. We've made it. Oh, I bet this is. Oh, look, cross. What does that say? Must be Latin. Well, welcome to Duo Family. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What? Okay, ready? Go. Just listen. Creepy. Like a horror movie. Oh, by the way, that's going to be my house right there. The big one that's probably worth a couple mil. So, here are the DeWolves. Actually, let's go down this way. I've not, I have not been, I didn't go down here last time. Can you come okay. in, Steve? So, they have some pimping money, you know? Huh? Yeah. The whole, is the whole cemetery just DeWolf? Uh, yeah, or they were married into it. Um, because I don't think everybody has the last name of DeWolf, but I'm pretty sure like they they were like relatives. I like the Grecian column. Yeah, over here. By the way, we are going to do a ghost hunt, but probably not close to this road. Do you think this was taller at one time? No, this the is... The wolf. That's, no, I just no, think it's yeah, just the way it looks. The design is up there. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Look at the trees. By the way, he still doesn't... Steve still has not seen the spooky spot. I am taking my time to take him to the spooky spot. <laughs> I'm looking at you. <laughs> Ooh, hey. <laughs> See? Like, uh, some of them were, um, Henry Cro I say I do think, uh, the Croakers or some of them are buried here. Depends if they married into the DeWolf family. Like Bruce Porter. But we do plan on doing a ghost hunt. Have not heard about this place being haunted, but the place I'm mentioning is spooky. Nice flowers. Unless we hit the lottery. And as you see, this area is well kept. Now, see, this one does not have the E in it. Yeah. It has just the um, comma. Wolf. It's funny that the same family and it's spelled in different ways. Mmm, wonder if it's like Americanized, you know? Mm-hmm. Beautiful out. But w with the E, it would be more English? Well, I don't know. So it's a B. Hey, Bill is still alive. Good for him. He's 100 years old, 101. Hmm. 
Yeah, they they are still burying people in this cemetery. Broken a little bit. Doesn't look. I wonder if it was tipped over or the thing just. Well, that is bent. Yeah. It's kind of a surreal, surreal. The sunlight and the cross and the trees in the background. What do that means? What? He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Uh, it's probably talking about God or something. It's almost like you, if you keep God, you're not going to rest in peace. Well, you don't want to rest forever. You want to go to heaven. True. I'm smart. I really like how this cemetery is kept. This is a really well kept cemetery. Shall be all shall be well, and all shall be well, and all manner of things shall be well. By the tongue twister. Might be a song, like a hymn or some hymn or something. <clears throat> now there is another James DeWolf in here, but he's a little bit younger. Might be like a son. Um, maybe somewhere down here. But the other place I want to take you... Look at that. I you can see it. Yep, can you see the little... spider web? Now, I have to say... These are very well, look, well designed, too. Sorry. Um, 1981. Yeah? And it's this kind of grave. You know, normally, they didn't use marble. They used, um, slate. Is marble more expensive? Mm -hmm. Well, that's why, because they're rich. At least I'm assuming. But all the old fashioned ones are that, you know. Wonder why they laid her like this. I'm going to take a few pictures. <laughs> like I said, this is this when I say this is the DeWolf family plot, I wasn't kidding. Almost every, almost everyone in here is a DeWolf or married into the DeWolves. When did the DeWolves settle down Bristol? I'm not sure. They probably brought in a lot of money. It's pulling me in. Yeah, I, I'm dreading. I'm almost. I'm coming up with many horror type things in my head of what that what 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 was buried over there. <laughs> Well, Steve, whoa, sun is bright. Follow me, time to go to the creepy spot. Okay. Let's go. Creepy spot, creepy spot. Ah, ah. Hey, something about this area just doesn't like me. Ah. Help. It's I, I like the swords are attacking me. Okay. <laughs> so see, <laughs> Steve is getting dragged and ah, um, I'm sort of being attacked now. Steve just first got dragged into the ground and now is being attacked by these things. Maybe we're not allowed to go, or at least you. <laughs> Having too much of an issue. A live vine's gonna rape me. Oh. Well, that was the movie we watched the other night. No, last, that was last weekend. We saw Evil Dead.
Ta da! See the, the, you should get a picture of those roots on that tree. The, the tree's dead, you know. Yeah. Um, rumor has it, I gotta double check, that James DeWolf is cursed. Um, he's buried in here, which is kind of funny. He's buried in the crypt? Yeah, because he's buried far from the rest of the family. But I, there's a rumor that the people in Bristol didn't care too much for him because of the slave trade. Um, that's, I don't know if it's true or not, but they, this, this, considering that he was a very wealthy person, and like I said, there's a dead tree right on top. You can see the roots. Matter of fact, when I came here in the fall, it looks like something directly from a horror film. Yeah, actually, if you did it in black and white, it would come out really creepier. Okay, I'll remember that. Ah! You see, if you're over here, you can see the roots better. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the hill's eroded. Yes. I'm gonna, while you go up there, I'm gonna take a few snapshots, okay? Okay. Alright, got a few pictures, and maybe I'll put them in black and white, like Steve said. Maybe it's up here that the, that the tree's gonna grab you. Oh, is this what we call a mountain in Rhode Island, huh? <laughs> hey, horses! Yes, sir. This is actually what the tree, I think the tree makes this spot more eerie. Oh yeah. Like uh, so someone said to me, it's like, you wonder why, <laughs> what was the tree eating when it, when it died? <laughs> We're gonna do a DVR session by Mr. Creepy Tree. Okay. <clears throat> Hello. Is there any presence with us today? Mr. James DeWolf, are you present with us? How many slaves did you buy and sell? to a final resting place, did you learn that that was bad? Treating people like that? Do you have any regrets selling people as slaves? We got the K2 meter. Put it right by the creepy tree. 
Do you see the gray object there? Okay. Could you make the K2 meter go off for us, please? If you are present or if you want to do it? All you have to do is go and touch it, from what they say. Also invite any other spirit to touch it, too. It could be any member of the DeWolf family. Let us know that you're here. On the creepy tree. Are you at peace? So now we're going to go right here, as soon as I'm going to sneeze. Oh, well, maybe not. Uh, Got to admit, it's a beautiful day out. Beautiful May. I'm a tree hugger. Be careful, that might upset some of our Republican fans. <laughs> okay. Cryptic tomb area, I guess. Cryptic tomb entrance. <sighs> Can I do the obvious? Sure. You can use that object Mr. Stephen Morrow's holding, or you can use the black object here to speak to us. He's French, you know. Is the wolf French? Or is it German? Could be either. Okay. So you first said two. Is there two people buried in this grave? Some. Or is it just Mr. DeWolf? People in the background speaking. You know, could this be where they kept the bodies in the winter? I've understood that this is actually the tomb of James the Wolf. Yeah. Oh my god, I just said Charles. And then Floor. Okay. Do you want to talk to Charles? Do you want Charles' energy to hold this? <laughs> Are you worried about someone? Assault. Easy. Alright, it's not coming up with anything. So I think it's credible. Well, how about we turn it off and just do a five minute EVP session? Boy, the sun's bright. Mr. DeWolf! Are you here? Could you speak to us, please? You didn't seem to like the ovulus too much. Are you buried here? Are there any other DeWolfs here right now? My phone. Click, click.
What is beyond that door? If you're here, what's keeping you here? Are you cursed to be here? Under this cursed tree? Different bird, I just want to point that out. It's a birdie! Shall we go to the other side? The other side? Other side of the mound. Oh, okay. I thought you meant a light. No. Stop. Okay. I'll show you the other side. Okay. Even looks creepier on this side. Especially that there's a tree right there. Knocked over too. If we could just have zombie sound effects, this will really be awesome. Over here. Okay, that's a job for CC to go into. <laughs> You just can get so many creepy shots of that tree. Spot number two. We'll call this the hole. Hole. <laughs> Hello! Is there anybody in here? What is your name? Taking the K2 meter out. It's a little dark in here so it should actually be seen. There's a gray object over there. Could you make it go off and use your energy to let me know that there's a presence in here? Try to make it go up to red so I know you're here. Was this tomb, was this place violated at one time or another? Did people, did the, did the people of Bristol get mad and d d damage this place? Okay, two meters still not going off. I got an idea. I think I'm going to leave the DVR in here for a bit by itself. Put it right here. If you don't want me speaking to you, we're gonna leave. And maybe uh, you can communicate when we're not here. We're gonna take a few snapshots. Ah! Come here, I have something to show you. All right, Kelsey. 
I just want to point out something. There's a balance in nature. Okay. Over here, you got world's creepiest tree. Yep. Okay. Scan this 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 valley down here. This valley, especially with all those green, what's green now, in about a week they're going to be blooming with lilies of the valley. Literally took hundreds of years for these plants to multiply, multiply and grow to create a whole beautiful field of these flowers. You never see this. And it's probably going to be one of the most beautiful places in about a week. You're probably right. Balance in nature. You heard it here first. Just got another idea. I'm going to leave the camera in here by itself too. Pointing like this. Uh, yeah, it makes for a better angle. Um, so if there's any spirits in here, we got the DVR over there. And we're going to leave you alone in here for a few minutes by yourself. So while we go, we'll try to be quiet though, okay, Steve? Oh, do we have anything to record over there? No. So let's do that after. Okay. So. But well, we can take a walk for five minutes. Okay, so we'll be back in five minutes. Do what you want. I hear people in the background. Yeah, I know. Whoever communicated, thank you very much. Steve showed me something here. Well, he noticed it first. There's a big hole right here. Endless hole. I say it's a rodent hole. I say it's a hole that goes to the white wonderland. Let's go follow the white rabbit. And we can, like, smoke drugs with the caterpillar. You know, that's the second reference you made to Alice in Wonderland today. What was the first? Over there. What did I say? I don't yeah. remember. I don't remember either. <laughs> Rewind film. Yeah. Rewind film here. I wonder if it is a rabbit hole. I dare you to stick your hand down there. Hey, we better go before the tree and becomes like in that movie Poltergeist and starts grabbing us. Okay, I had enough. All right. Did you have fun though? Yeah. All right. Well, I guess this is our creepy places from Bristol in the wolf family plot. And we've actually had a pretty good time. We don't, we don't really get a sensation that this place is haunted, but it's, let's face it, that was just worth a drive right there. That's like horror movie sets right there.